Hey everyone, thank you so much for writing in and taking the time to let us know that you were thinking of us, we're thinking of you during this time. If you're here like I am, I've got the five pets, I got the hubby, I got my bestie. Um, we've been actually having a lot of fun. Um, but I will put the fur babies away so that I can show you how to make these beautiful DIY candles that will not only give you a project to work on while you're at home, but will also help you relax. And guess what the best part is? You don't need to go to the store. This is stuff that you already have around your house. I've got lavender, roses. This is rosemary, know that for sure. I'm gonna head over here. Any size mason jar that you have, totally fine. You need the hot glue, you need 100% cotton, or if you are already fancy and you have a wick already, this is what we're gonna use as a wick. You need a pot. You need to add about two inches of water to that pot. You need a glass bowl. I used a two cup measuring cup. You will also need a little stirrer. I use tongue depressors. I'm using skewers too. If you want them to be scented, these are really key. These are essential oils. I'm going to be using one of them, but you can really use them for any time of year. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna take my used candles. You will end up using a lot. You just wanna slice it down. It's kind of like chopping carrots almost, except it does turn it into these little flakes. Now, all of these little shavings, I put them in, in here. It's not quite boiling, but it is hot enough to melt the wax, which is really important. Now, while your little wax shavings are melted down, this is the time that you can decorate your jars. The first thing we wanna do is add the wick. All I wanna do here is just drop a little bit of glue you wanna make sure that it stays in the center. I'm gonna make mine out of lavender. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure whatever you're using doesn't come beyond the lip there. I'm just gonna add a little bit of hot glue to this. La, 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 la. That's the sound hot glue makes. And then you wanna stick it to the side of your mason jar. All the way around, just keep doing this so that no matter what angle you put your candle on, you're gonna be able to see it. Now, this is important because we're about to put the wax in and you don't want your wick going like that. You don't want it on the side because it'll actually burn on the side. So you wanna make sure that it stays in the middle. The way to do that is take a skewer, wrap it around here, and then just set it aside. So now we are ready to move on to the wax part. So now is the time, if you wanna add some essential fragrance, we can, these are essential oils. This is lavender. Woo, she's potent. So I'm only going to use just a couple of drops in here. Now we just wait for 24 to 48 hours. Take the wick and our little stick, we can get rid of that. A little twine here, so we're just gonna add a little around the top. You wanna to make sure you stay on the metal. So there you go. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this DIY. Just know that we're all missing you, we're sending you love, we're sending you light, and we're sending you strength. Take care.